Welcome. This is a beginner's splits flow created with inflexible practitioners in mind. For this practice, you will need two blocks or more, a chair and two or more pillows. Be sure to look in the description below if you don't have any of those on hand for alternative options. I also recommend having a grippy mat and cork blocks as the texture of both really help to keep you grounded in your practice. I've linked both of them below in the description. Go ahead and grab your props and we will meet back here on the mat. Let's begin in tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. As you inhale, dropping the belly gaze up for cow pose. Exhale, rounding through the spine, gaze down for cat. Continue sinking breath with movement. We'll release, come to your belly. Bending the left knee, drawing the left heel towards your hip. If it's available today, go ahead and grab your left foot, drawing the heel close towards your hip. Just feeling a gentle stretch within the front of that thigh. And we'll release, switching sides, bending the knee, allowing gravity to do its job, or go ahead and grab the foot, drawing the heels closer towards the hip. Gently release. Option to use blocks here, placing the blocks underneath the hands. Again, completely optional. Making sure the blocks are nice and sturdy here. We'll tuck the toes, setting the hips up for down dog. Bending the knees and allowing the body to just kind of sink into the pose, get familiar with the pose.
Inhale, stepping to the top of the mat. Place the blocks on the highest setting. Inhale for half lift, flat back. If this is intense to be all the way down here, feel free to come as high as you need. Wherever you are, lifting the sit bones and drawing the sternum forward, lengthening through the hamstrings, through the backs of the legs. As you exhale, bending the knees, take your fold. Inhale to standing, hands reaching up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Take the feet mat width distance. Take the hands to your waist and begin to circle the hips. So drawing as big of a circle as you can. And we'll go opposite direction. Back to center. We'll inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, take your fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale the standing, hands reaching up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, the standing. Exhale, heart center. Go ahead and grab your chair and place it in front of you. Using the chair as support, go ahead and step the left foot back. Coming into sort of a high lunge. Hips are squared and making sure the feet are hip width distance, almost like you are on two skis. Tucking the tailbone, straighten the right knee and hinging at the hips, stopping wherever you feel the stretch. Sticking your tailbone back and sternum forward as if a string is pulling your tailbone back and your chest forward. So you're keeping the spine nice and straight and really lengthening through the backs of the legs. So don't lose this alignment. Stop wherever you feel that stretch. And we'll breathe. Take a moment here to observe the body
and we'll release. Take a moment here. When you're ready, stepping the right foot back, left knee in line with the ankle, high lunge. Go ahead and straighten the left knee, hinging forward, sticking the tailbone back, chest forward. Lengthening through the backs of the legs. Hips are square for your standing half split. And we'll gently release. Shake it out. And removing the chair, we'll meet back at the top of the mat, placing your blocks just in front of you. We'll inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. Plant the knee, low lunge. Adjust here so that the right knee is just over the right ankle or just behind. Place the blocks under your shoulders. And if this is too intense, bring the left knee and right ankle closer. And you also have the option to come right back into your standing pose using the chair. So that will still give you the same benefit. And we'll go ahead and straighten the right knee, sending the hips back, pressing into the right heel, toes up towards the sky for half split. So really engaging that right foot. And once again, tailbone reaches back, chest reaches forward. And using as many blocks here as you need for added height. Inhale, come back to your low lunge. We'll take our time as we inch the right foot forward as far up as you comfortably can for our split. Keeping the hips square, placing a block or two underneath the right thigh, as many as you need. And I like to tilt my block to support the front of my left leg. So I really like how that kind of contours my leg. However, you have the option to use anything you need here, pillows, extra blocks. You can place the blocks however you need to give you that support and height. Now, I only have two blocks on me for this class, um, but you can always use books. You can even have um, a, 
a chair on both sides of you to have your hands or your arms just resting on them to give you a little more support in this pose. And again, if this is not accessible today, no worries, come back to the standing pose using your chair instead. In time, we'll get there. will gently release. Take your time coming right into your low lunge and then stepping to the top of the mat. Half lift. Exhale fold. Inhale half lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. Blocks under the shoulders. And if this is too intense today, come back to the standing pose once again. Now explore here, if this is feeling intense, figure out why. Play around here if you need to come to your standing pose or maybe you just need to draw that right knee a little closer towards that left heel. So not taking so much of a step back for your low lunge. We'll go ahead and send the hips back, toes towards the sky for half split. Sending that tailbone back, chest forward. As you inhale, come right into your low lunge. Begin to inch your left foot forward, as far forward as you can. And utilizing the blocks underneath your hips. Option again, if this is too intense, come right back into our standing split using the chair. As the body begins to open up, you can deepen the stretch by releasing the props and making your way closer towards the mat for your full split. And that of course may not happen in this class. It does take quite a bit of time for the body to open up, especially when we are feeling extremely inflexible. Honor the process, honor the body and honor the journey. Enjoy every step. Slow and steady wins the race. Use this time to reconnect with the body reconnecting with the breath so no time goes wasted
and will gently release. Take your time. Find some organic movement here. and place the blocks to your sides. Sending the hips towards the heels for child's pose. Option to place pillows underneath the torso and hips for added height, added support. And using your inhales to create space. Exhales to completely let go. and we'll gently release. Come to laying on your back. Left leg straightens, crossing the right leg over towards your left. Back stays flat on the mat for your supine twist. And if this is feeling a bit intense today, go ahead and place pillows underneath your knee. And we'll gently release, switching sides, option to use a pillow, and allowing the body to surrender here, letting go of any tension with each exhale.
and we'll release. Taking a moment here, rocking the knees side to side. We'll hug the knees towards the chest. go ahead and take the feet to the bottom of the mat, hands to your sides, palms facing up. Taking this time to acknowledge the body in its fully relaxed state, soaking in all the work you did. Part by part, take your time working through the body and observing the body, observing the breath. We'll gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. We'll roll over towards our right, full inhale, and exhale. Gently come to seated. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.